Scotch thistle is a biennial terrestrial weed. Native to Europe and Western Asia, Scotch thistle was introduced to North America in the 1800s, likely as a garden plant. It's been reported throughout much of North America. Scotch thistle grows best in light, well-drained, and sandy or stony soils. It readily invades dry fields, rangeland, and roadsides, but is also found along rivers, canals, or other waterways. Heavy disturbance increases infestations. This species often reduces crop, pasture, and rangeland production, and displaces native plant species in natural areas. Scotch thistle typically grows as a biennial, but may also grow as an annual or short-lived perennial. Seeds usually germinate in spring, though autumn rains also stimulate germination at some locations. Plants typically remain as rosettes the first year, then bolt and flower the second year. Rosettes develop large, fleshy taproots. Rosette and basal leaves can grow up to two feet long and one foot wide. Leaves are wider in the center than at the base and have wavy, toothed margins armed with sharp yellow spines. Upper and lower leaf surfaces are covered with a thick mat of woolly hairs that give the foliage a gray-green or silvery appearance. Plants bolt in early summer and grow seven to eight feet tall by four feet wide on average. Stems are robust, have numerous branches covered in woolly hair, and have spiny wings extending along their entire length. Stem leaves are smaller than basal leaves, grow in an alternate pattern, and extend onto the stems as wings. Flowering occurs from July to October. Flower heads are globe-shaped, up to two inches in diameter, and are either solitary or form small clusters of up to three heads at the ends of stems and branches. What appears to be one flower is actually a flower head, containing up to 150 pinkish-purple florets. Bracts at the base of the flower head are needle-like and tipped with sharp, orange-colored spines. Bracts are often cobwebby at their base. Flower heads produce numerous, grayish-brown mottled seeds with a tuft of silky hairs at their tips that may be twice as long as the seeds. The tufts of hair are readily carried by wind and water. A mature plant may produce on average 10,000 seeds annually. Some seeds may remain viable for up to 40 years, though most germinate within three. Plants typically die after setting seed. Over 80 native thistle species and more than 20 exotic thistles occur in North America, and several resemble scotch thistle to some extent. The first rule of thumb for differentiating thistles is to observe the stems. Unlike scotch thistle, native thistles never have spines along their entire stems. Scotch thistle differs from other exotic thistles with its combination of large height, spines along its entire stem length, large flower heads up to two inches in diameter, and needle-like bracts. The exotic musk thistle grows large as well, but its flower heads are about three inches in diameter and occur solitary at the ends of stems and branches. The flower head bracts of musk thistle are also larger and triangular. The exotic bull thistle has flower heads similar to scotch thistle, but bull thistle grows much shorter and has smaller, more needle-tipped foliage. The exotic milk thistle grows to a similar large height and has flower heads two inches in diameter. Milk thistle differs in that its leaves have obvious white marbling all over their surface, and its flower bracts are large, very leathery, and up to two inches long. 